Happy Comic-Con Day 3. This is going to be my breakdown of the Spider-Man Homecoming footage. It's just an explanation for what they showed off at Comic-Con that they're not going to post online, at least for a long, long time. So like I just posted the Spider-Man panel, the director came out with the actors with Tom Holland. He did his Civil War line where he's like, hey everyone. And then they kind of explained thematically what the movie is meant to be, how they engineered it to fit in with all these other big Marvel movies. He's like, you know, we've seen billionaire genius, philanthropist, playboys, but we haven't seen the story of a young Spider-Man, like a young kid in the Marvel Universe trying to make sense of all these new things. So the footage that they brought, like the teaser trailer, just shows a day in the life of Peter Parker, sophomore in high school, with typical 16-year-old kid problems that just happen to be taking place in a world with the Avengers. So a lot of it took place at his high school. He kept having to find reasons to slip away to do Spider-Man things. Like a problem comes up, he needs to stop being Peter Parker. He's like, okay, time to hero up, put the suit on, go kick some butt. But, he, but he's still stuck in high school, so he can't let everyone know that he's Spider-Man, so he has to find creative ways to sneak around. There was a brief Vulture sequence. They did confirm that Vulture is going to be the big bad of the film, meaning that that's Michael Keaton's character. Michael Keaton is the big bad of the film. The Vulture is the big character. But we also learned that the Tinker, like a younger version of the Tinker, played by this actor, and Shocker will also be in the movie. And as if to reiterate that this is taking place in the world of the Avengers, like this, you know, post-Captain America Civil War timeline, this is taking place after Captain America Civil War. There's a group of girls playing a game. Actually, I'm going to cuss real quick. I'm going to drop an F-bomb real quick just for the sake of this. So there's a group of girls at Peter's school playing that fuck, Mary kill game with different Marvel characters that we've seen in movies before. So it's just a really funny way to show you what real high schoolers would be doing inside the Marvel Universe right now. Like, we see what the Avengers do when they're chilling out. Like, they all take turns trying to lift Thor's hammer. You know, it's like a really fun game. Well, what would someone at Peter Parker's high school be doing? Like, they'd also be playing a version of that, but it'd be fuck, Mary kill with the Avengers characters. So it's just a very John Hughes type wink at the Marvel Universe. And if you don't know who John Hughes is and you don't know why everyone's referencing him so much when they're talking about Spider-Man Homecoming, he's the guy that made Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Breakfast Club, Weird Science, which Robert Downey Jr. starred in when he was really young, 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, so he just made some of the best high school movies of all time. He wrote and directed really amazing stories about high school kids. So that should give you an idea of how they're making this Spider-Man film and how it's going to be different from the other Marvel films, but also how it's going to tie in. And also another big thing to tie it to the Marvel Universe is that the Vulture's flight suit is supposedly made out of Shatauri tech that was left after the Battle of New York. So I think I've mentioned it before in videos, but this is so much a Marvel film. Like, you wouldn't think Spider-Man because you're so used to thinking of it as a Sony franchise. And yet, Sony still owns the character. But look, they're presenting this at the Marvel panel. It is so much a Marvel film. Creatively, they're in control of the character. They got to pick the actors they wanted. They got to pick the story that they wanted. So if you're talking to any of your friends about Spider-Man and they're confused about whether or not Marvel got Spider-Man back, Yes, they did, technically, but Sony still has a financial interest in the character. So imagine Marvel's making this movie, and they're just sharing the profits with Sony. But there was a whole bunch of other footage that they showed off that they're not going to allow to be online. Like, there was a Thor Ragnarok funny documentary they shot. They've only been filming that movie for five days, but they basically filmed an episode of The Office with Thor and the Hulk to explain what they were, you know, quote-unquote, what they were doing during Civil War. So what I'm going to do next is a Doctor Strange trailer breakdown. Then I'll do a Guardians of the Galaxy 2 video for the footage they showed off. They confirmed who Star-Lord's father was. He's Ego, the living planet. We even got a look at his costume. So I'll do a video for that just explaining what the footage was and what the movie's going to be about. James Gunn explained a whole bunch of stuff. And we found out who Captain Marvel is. It's going to be Brie Larson. They finally confirmed it. She was just like, surprise, bitches. Then she ran on stage and got super surprised by Benedict Cumberbatch. It's so funny to watch some of these big Marvel characters, some of whom who have won Oscars, fangirl on some of the other Avengers characters. So that I'll all post later today. And I'll say congratulations to this round of the giveaway. Jordi Salcido, you win a $20 Amazon gift card. Be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. There is a new round of the giveaway that's starting now. There is still so much Comic-Con stuff happening. So there'll be a bunch more Marvel, a bunch more DC stuff that I'll be posting for the next couple of days. So like I'll try to get it out as fast as possible. But it was a lot of fun. I was really happy with Comic-Con this year. While you guys wait for me to post that, you can click here to watch the Spider-Man panel again. And you can click here to watch the Flash Season 3 trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.